Today I've got a solution for you how to keep your car looking pristine 24 7 7 days a week with nine simple steps. Are you ready? Let's go! So typically what regular people do is they spend a whole day or a whole weekend trying to clean the car because they have neglected the exterior and the interior as well for many many months sometimes years so that's not what we're gonna do today i'm gonna give you a simple solution but you're gonna have to work for it there's no magic pill so my promise to you with this plan it, it is going to be simple it's not going to be as time consuming as going to the gym or following a diet so let's get into it. All right, guys, before we start with our plan, I have three disclaimer for you. Three points I want to make uh, for the exterior of the car. You're not going to be able to control whatever happens to it because of mother nature, because of the climate you're, you live in. So you're going to have to live with how it looks and keep it clean. But for the interior, half of the job is not eating in the car. So if you can avoid that, uh, do it. If you think I'm crazy, well, keep on going and eat your cheeseburger inside of the car, no problem. The same goes for drinking. If you can use a leak-free uh, drinking container, it's the best thing you can do to actually save uh, the interior of the car. Next point I want to make, actually use product that you love and you care for, all right? Don't try to be as cheap as possible. This is a hobby, so buy stuff that you actually like to use, that smells good. It has to be an experience uh, taking care of the car. So my third disclaimer, you're going to need microfiber towels, not your beach towel, not your old t-shirt cut with a scissor. You're going to want to use high quality microfiber. It's not a fad guys, microfibers, high quality microfibers, going to do half the work for you. So microfibers, they have those fingers like everybody is going to tell you, but it's really the truth. Microfibers has some properties. Uh, they're really good at grabbing stuff. And holding on to it. The main purpose of using those compared to your kitchen rag or your beach towel is that it's gonna do a much better job at picking up dirt, dust and debris so you can remove it away from the car in no time. The microfiber towels have changed the industry a long time ago for a reason, all right? So let's start off with the basics for the exterior. I have five things for you so you're gonna have to get up from the couch and get to work. The first thing, the most important thing is going to be washing your car. You're gonna use uh, your regular washing routine. I will assume from here that you have some basic knowledge about washing car. So we're not gonna dive in the washing process. We'll do that in another video. But the important thing here is to wash your car once a week uh, or bi-weekly, make a decision. But I really recommend you keep up with it. So once a week or one every other week so when you have developed your process washing the car uh, thoroughly should not take more than an hour maybe 45 minutes for some if you spend uh, five minutes per wheel you're already at 20 minutes and maybe add uh, 40 to 50 minutes to wash the exterior and dry all right so doing a good wash is the main task here it's the most time consuming task so i understand sometimes your life gets in the way if you make it a priority you'll find the time to wash your car uh, every other week at least all right number two on our list for the exterior is using a quick detailer extremely extremely important it's going to be super efficient when you're about to dry the car you're, you're going to spray your product on the paint dry or wet it doesn't matter you take your drying towel you you get rid of the water so with your second towel you're going to remove any streaks any watermarks are remaining to get the perfect finish i want to make a point about drying with your quick detailer very important to use the two towel method the benefit of using a quick detailer it's going to help you removing the water removing any watermarks any drips uh, remaining on the paint it's going to add shine slickness uh, more gloss next time water hits your car it's going to be rejected because those products are hydrophobic so so for your next wash it's going to be super uh, easy you're going to save a lot of time because you actually applied a quick detailer it's going to make the water hydrophobic so the water is not going to stick as much on the panel 
it'll make it super easy to wash and dry at the same time this is part of the washing process for any car enthusiast okay so we've washed the car we've washed the wheels obviously we also dried with our quick detailer next stop it's going to be taking care of your door jam super important uh, part of the car that a lot of people uh, neglect it's the final touch on any car detail. You need to have really nice door jam. If you clean them once a couple months, you're gonna have to use an APC and brush or use your pressure washer in the door jam. You don't want that. If your door jam are not too dirty, just uh, wipe, wipe it off with your quick detailer or during your wash process. You, at the end of the wash, use your mitt with soap and uh, go over all the door jam area uh, between the doors, between the, the trunk jam, uh, make sure you rinse the soap. And when you get in your drying process, you actually use again your quick detailer and you wipe them off. You, you, you wipe them off dry with your quick detailer. It's going to add shine. And again, your door jam are going to be protected. And they will be rejecting water and dirt for the next wash. We're not diving deeper in paint protection. We're simply applying our quick detailer in this process. So you can already see where I'm going with this. We're applying our protection, our protectant product on every painted surfaces. So for the next wash, it's gonna be super pleasant to wash the car. It's gonna be protected, gonna be repelling water. So from wash to wash, it's very efficient, very pleasant. Okay, so the last thing for exterior maintenance, I like to apply a tire dressing. Again, this is optional. Uh, the taste is different for everyone, but for me, I always like to apply a tire dressing. It's gonna protect the tire until the next wash. It's gonna give it the final uh, detail look that everyone likes. Okay, from that point on, we've done pretty much everything we needed to do on the exterior for our maintenance plan. So I just want to add, if you want to use a product on your windows, go ahead. I've never seen the point of cleaning the windows when you already clean the car. Uh, you clean the windows with your car wash solution. So you really don't have to do anything to the windows apart from drying them with your quick detailer. But uh, if you see any streaks, uh, feel free to use a window product and uh, microfiber towels. All right, my friends, so you've done 70% of the job by doing the exterior. Now let's get in the interior. It's super simple. First, we're gonna pull our vacuum, remove any uh, floor mats. If you drive by yourself, it's even easier. So you're just gonna spend time on the driver's side. Uh, I don't want you to spend more than 10 minutes doing that part. So next up, probably the most important part of the interior, it's going to be cleaning your touch points. So you're going to clean your steering wheel, you're going to clean your shifter, your door, your door handle and the base of your seat. In this instance, I'm using a general cleaner for the interior. I'm going to soak my microfiber for the interior in hot water with a couple spritz of our uh, interior cleaner and simply going over our touch point really quick, uh, removing the grease, uh, removing uh, any fingerprints. So that way, by doing that on a regular basis, we're not gonna get any accumulation or degradation of our interior material.
okay, for the rest of the interior, uh, how we're gonna clean those, how we're gonna remove the dust uh, and the fingerprints on the infotainment uh, really quickly. Uh, I'm using a interior detailer by Gian with another uh, dry microfiber. Again, a couple spritz and uh, just a general wipe off so we can get rid of the fingerprints on the screen, on the dash. If you have uh, kids in the back or people in the back, you might have some shoe marks, some uh, shoe dirt here and there. You're gonna pick that up again with the same product. Really quick, really efficient. Uh, again, don't spend more than 10 minutes doing this. It shouldn't be really dirty after a week or two, all right? We've got some fingerprints, uh, salt stains, uh, a couple of shoe marks uh, from the kids going in and out, uh, a, a bunch of dust. So we're gonna take care of that with simply uh, Gian interior detailer. Uh, spray on your cloth or on your surface directly and pretty much wipe it clean. Smell is great. Flip your towel to a dry side. And that's pretty much it for light duty like this. It's perfect, smells good. So by doing our vacuum, our general wipe down and uh, cleaning our leather steering and touch points uh, every week, every other week, we're keeping this place very top notch. There's not gonna be any uh, residual smell from food, from anything. This place is going to be a palace. Okay, my friends, so we kept it simple as promised. We did not have to go down too much in the rabbit hole. So I want you to remember, use products that you love, I will leave uh, links in the description with my code so you can save some money. Uh, be consistent. Remember, clean feels good. So remember when your car is looking fresh, it's looking clean. The interior is super clean and smelling good. It's going to be good for you, but it's going to give a good impression on others, just like wearing a suit, all right? Okay, my friend, so I hope from now on you're going to maintain your car like a pro and get to work. And if you want to know more about deep cleaning your leather, I have a video here. If you want to know more about deep cleaning your wheels, I have another video there. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.